Ten years ago, the person whom I want to invite now could bring several very, very young, inexperienced teachers to the new teacher center which was established at the university by Boran. At that time, most of these teachers were not so confident that most of them even in class taught English in Muslim. But this person could push the program to success and could teach these people how to behave as a good teacher, first of all. Not only knowledge that we got from him, but also teachers' behavior that we, that we learned from this teacher. After 10 years, when I see this person, I feel the same. Near with him, I am very confident, I am very strong, and most of the IELTS teachers yesterday mentioned the same. Welcome, Dr. Benson.
that's not especially positive. And that goes back to an incident that happened within our first year of the program. We built the program around the concept of academic integrity. No cheating. No plagiarizing. I hear murmuring. <laughs> we gave, it may not have been the first exam, but it was near the beginning of the program. And Ms. Nomura came to me and said, I found a student cheating. And had the notes, I think they were written on post-it notes. The notes were written on post-it notes. So we had a small hearing about this, and she indeed had done it, it was her handwriting, and she was dismissed from the program. About a week later, I got a call from Dr. Abbas's office that the sister of this student was there to complain about the dismissal of her sister. And he invited me over. I went over, and they were speaking in Russian for a good long while they were speaking. And suddenly, Dr. Abbas looked at me and said, she, the sister, is asking, what's the problem? And in my mind, her asking that question was the problem. <laughs> and so we have, I know we have over the years, stayed steadfast in keeping our academic integrity. Whatever we do in the future, and I do use the possessive we, and the possessive power. Whatever our program does in the future, it needs to have academic integrity at the center. Everything else will radiate out from that. So, I'm, I'm very confident that that will continue to be the case, and it's another reason I'm very proud to be associated with the Institute for English Language Teacher Education. Now then, to change gears a bit, many of you have graduated or are getting ready to graduate. There's a term in American education, I think it's used elsewhere, alma mater. Do you know what mater means in Latin? Mother. We speak of our university as our alma mater, which implies that we think of our university as part of our family. I am asking you to do the same thing with I.L. I'm asking you to remember it at appropriate times as a member of your family. And what I'm asking you to do is to latch on to grab the concept of giving back. You need to be looking for opportunities to help your alma mater. That can be with your time, with your energy, and if you get very wealthy, with your money. But don't forget your mother. Please, into the future. You have, by way of your efforts, reached up. Now it's appropriate for you to reach down and help the organization on whose shoulders you are now standing. And I hope you will do that deeply into the future. Now, if you would, I'm holding up an imaginary payella. If you would hold up yours, please. Everyone hold up your payella. I'm going to give 
a toast. <laughs> the toast is, may you be good and successful far into the future. And from me to I help, I will always love you.